Five years after Russia stretched its military and diplomatic umbrella over Abkhazia, a quiet self-confidence is settling over this subtropical land on the Black Sea coast. People speak Russian, use Russian rubles, and carry Russian passports. The only train goes north to the Russian city of Sochi and ultimately to Moscow. In a sign of the new stability, two million Russian tourists are expected to visit Abkhazia this year. Izida Chania edits the Nuzne Gazeta newspaper. In the summer, it's really difficult to find a place to stay in a hotel. But people here say they don't live in a Russian colony, but in the independent nation of Abkhazia. Beslan Baratelia teaches economics at Abkhaz State University. People don't talk here about how in Russia or any other country the pay is higher than in Abkhazia. The talk is about how people who survived the war and stayed until independence value living in their homeland. Signs of war are everywhere, like this billboard honoring Abkhazia's independence leader Vladislav Ardzinba. And this building, it was last used by Georgian soldiers during Abkhazia's successful war of secession 20 years ago. In Georgia, things are changing too. Bidzina Ivanishvili, the new prime minister, is trying to restore relations with Abkhazia's patron, Russia. Ivanishvili wants to restore rail service between Georgia and Abkhazia. In a signal to this breakaway republic, the Georgian leader is canceling military parades and renaming the Ministry of Reintegration the Ministry of Reconciliation. Vyacheslav Chidigba, Abkhazia's foreign minister, remains cautious. Well, happily, we uh, can look at it from the uh, safe distance. It's not a part of our, our, uh, our political life anymore, uh, happily, because yeah. it's, it's a foreign country. But he added, Abkhazia plans to increase the number of border crossings with Georgia, from one today to five by year's end. We are very responsive to any positive signals from Georgia, and uh, everything which is peaceful uh, sounding uh, is a welcome, of course, in, in Abkhazia. We don't want to be uh, eternal enemies with Georgians. With the threat of a Georgian invasion now off the table, Abkhazians seem to be looking at gradually normalizing relations with their former adversary. James Brook, VOA News, Suhumi, Abkhazia.